Who besides the world's military powers are at war? The answer still to come on Eyewitness News. Whether one wants a computer in the home or not, it may be too late. Already there are a number of products available that include the newest generation of electronic technology, the microprocessor. Scarcely larger than your thumbnail, microprocessors provide the basis for microwave ovens that remember, turntables that can play record cuts in any order, and programmable video games whose function can be changed in seconds. Presently there are three programmable video games on the market. Programmable means it comes in two parts. The hardware is the first part. It contains the microprocessor, plays the game, and maintains the display. For that hardware to work, it needs software. The software consists of computer programs enclosed in what appear to be 8-track cartridges, but are actually circuit cards that plug in to decide the characteristics of the game. The RCA Studio 2 has a black and white display and can draw pictures, play games, and teach math to kids. Fairchild's Channel F video entertainment system was around for Christmas last year. The hardware produces a three-color picture and has more software available than any other game. Channel F games also teach, draw, and play. Atari's home video computer promises to grab its share of buyers with variety. The one program card available has 27 variations, and the machine itself has a more colorful display with improved sound effects. Programs are the only thing that could relieve any boredom with the machine. So it appears that the future of these games will be determined by the ingenuity of the programmers who design the games of the future. Tomorrow, a look at microprocessors used as microcomputers. Henry Birdseye, TV4, Eyewitness News.